The challenge with extending the time frame to meet the goal is that the cost increases to fully fund the retirement responsibility. The original calculation of the $115 million goal was based on how much had to be invested by 1 January 2022 to provide enough funds over time to pay the benefits. If the church has not met the $115 million goal by 1 January 2022, then the church would have two options. One, borrow the balance needed to reach the goal from the church's investments in January 2022. Or two, extend the time frame and increase the amount needed while reducing the amount that may need to be borrowed. World Church leaders worked through various alternatives. Leaders understood that any extension in meeting the retirement responsibility as the first goal of the Bridge of Hope project also meant we were extending the second goal of building up church endowments. World Church leaders wanted to minimize the amount that must be borrowed from the church's investments to fully fund the retirement responsibility. We wanted to minimize that amount. Leaders recognized that extending the date allowed more time to receive Bridge of Hope ties, more time to complete program property sales, and more time to arrange potential sales of historic assets. Based on all of the factors, World Church leaders decided a two-year extension in meeting the goal, even though it meant an increase of $5 million. With the new plan, 1 January 2022, as the date to fully fund the retirement responsibility becomes 1 January 2024, and the goal moves from $115 million to $120 million. With the $53.1 million already raised, the new goal now requires an additional $66.9 million. We believe the current strategy for raising funds is the right one, but to be successful, it needs enough time for all of us as the church to hold important conversations about missional needs and program properties and to receive additional Bridge of Hope ties from individuals and jurisdictions. There are four ways we need to focus on raising funds. First, we are asking the delegates of World Conference to approve item D4. We will explain more about this when the resolution is brought before the conference later this week. For now, we want to stress this is significant for two reasons. One, it authorizes the approximately $4 million of World Conference designated funds in the endowment to be used now for the retirement responsibility. And two, it has the potential of providing around an additional $4 million to fund the retirement responsibility if the presiding bishopric is successful in obtaining legal approval to authorize terminating this endowment. Second, the presiding bishopric will continue to work with the mission funding team to invite individuals, families, and jurisdictions to sacrificially contribute to Bridge of Hope tithes. 
Third, the Council of Twelve, with the support of jurisdictional leaders and the presiding bishopric, will engage the church in important conversations, evaluating missional needs for congregational buildings, campgrounds, and other properties. We will sell properties that are difficult to operate and maintain and less aligned with the church's unfolding mission so the net proceeds can more effectively support mission as well as the retirement responsibility. And fourth, the presiding bishopric will continue to explore historic asset sales that can be negotiated for appropriate value.